What's up guys and gals and welcome to an episode of coverage of a game called Moon Base where you're a space kitty and you've got to build a base and craft some things and have some fun. I think you're going to have a blast with it. Let's go ahead and check the game out. We're going to be playing on endless mode today. And so there it is. And so our kitty comes down on the planet and we got stuff we got to do. So apparently we're supposed to find our space crates. So space crates are great, mate. Let's go ahead and find a space crate. There's one right there, so that wasn't too far. That gave us a solar panel, an oxygen scrubber, and not much else. Okay, I can live with that. That's all right by me. Is there anything else in this area, though? Like, where is our other space crate at? There it is. I see the tipsy top of it. Got the tipsy top of our space base. This should give us our habitat modules. So we'll get these built right now, because we need to have a place where we can refill our oxygen. Uh, the main mechanics we're trying to dodge right now. Oxygen, top left. Suit power, top right. We need to provide for this predicament. And we have a solar panel right now, so we can provide for that. We can do what we gotta do. I'm gonna take this, and we'll drop a solar panel right here. Good stuff. Uh, this right here, I assume, is like space catnip or something. It allows us to make food, and so we're probably gonna need it. But the big thing I wanna do right now is scrounge out some metal and some, like, electrical parts and whatnot. If we can get that, I think we'll be in good shape. There's a little bit more scrap metal. I'm going to prioritize looking for scrap metal for right now. Because if we can get, like, some freebies out of this, we can end up actually being able to build stuff with the workbench in our inventory that will make our lives a little bit easier. So we got a component. Now if I can get some wiring or something like that, I think that's the only thing that I'm missing. If I can just get, like, a little bit of wiring, we'll be really solid. Let's continue digging through here and seeing if we get lucky. Our oxygen's already on the halfses. That's not good. We're in a little bit of kitty trouble. Little bit of kitty trouble on the double. Oh, we did not get much of what I needed right now. Uh, I'm going to keep on looking. I'm going to keep on looking because if we don't get it, we're in trouble. Nighttime comes at like 9 or 10 o'clock, and I'm desperately attempting to like get a battery before then so we can at least store up a little bit of power and give ourselves some... There we go. There's a little bit of extra component space. Let's take this workbench, and I'm going to plop it down next to the base. Hopefully, we get something out of this that is useful to us, but I'm going to fill up my oxygen first. So we'll drop that right there. I'm going to go inside the base and hopefully refill at least a chunk of my oxygen canister because if we don't get that, uh, we're going to die. There's going to be a kitty death on camera. It's not going to be a proud moment for me. I didn't plan on killing a kitty in my first episode of this series, but there we go. We got a little bit more oxygen. Let's see what we can build. Oh, we're hungry right now. Well, we'll eat some of this cat food that we have with us right now. As I understand it, cats very much like cat food. So we've got a shovel right there. That's pretty sweet. How do I make this thing? I got a steel plate. That right there needs steel plates. That needs steel plates as well. So I'm thinking we need a smelter next. So let's go find some rocks. I need this right here. Yep, you come with me. Perfect. We got two of those right there. And if we can find a few more boulders, it'll make our life easier. They're just little boulders is all that we need. Right before we run out of oxygen, so there's that. We're on a bit of a scramble here at the beginning of the game, because if we don't get the things we need before the first nightfall, we have some pretty deep and wide chasms to cross with regards to our long-term tangible health. We've got this right here. That looks good to me. All right, solid. Good. So we've got some rocks now, and that means I can go back over here, and we can make ourselves a smelter so that we can get those metal plates that we need in order to make more solar panels and batteries and stuff like that. So we'll jump into here. There's our smelter. Craft that very rapidly for me, would you please? I'm going to go back inside and refill my oxygen before too long because it can only hold so much. So you might as well use as much of it as you can before, like, time runs out. So there we go. We've got a decent oxygen supply for right now. Nighttime's about to get here in like two hours. Hopefully we'll have a full refill of oxygen for the first night. If we don't, this is going to get a little bit rough. So we've got a smelter right here. I need more power resources before I can use the smelter, though. So I'm going to drop that right there. And with the smelter, I now need to pick up with my shovel this right here. And so we're going to pick up some of this ore, and then I'm going to kill the battery to our oxygen supply very quickly. Yeah, because here comes nighttime anyways. Okay, so I'm not going to do it. We don't have time to do that right now. Instead, I'm just going to tootle-pip around a bit and grab some of the things I need during the course of the night. But we are going to want to keep a special eye out for our power supply because we don't want our little lamp to run out. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. All right, so we're hungry again, so I'm going to eat that. I don't know if we breathe more air or something when we're hungry, but it would seem like a tangible conclusion to come to. I'm going to get inside of here. And we've got a tank of oxygen to last us till morning. That's all that we've got. 
So hopefully we'll survive this. I can't guarantee that we will, but we're doing the best that we can with what we've got going on at the moment. But if we don't get something done, like, now, we need to get it done later. So there's a little bit more ice. I'm going to swap on over to the shovel, and we'll watch out for anything that might be useful out here along the periphery of the base. Got some kind of weird space plants right there that look like they're thriving and growing and doing their space plant thing while they're chilling down here. We got another... Yeah, that looks good to me. We've got some more scrap metal. I don't want to get too lost. I don't want to get too far away from my home port at the moment. But I'm doing what I can do here. I've only got a little bit of suit power left, so we're going to have to swing back to base. I'm going to walk back as blindly as I can while kind of flickering the light. There we go. We found our way back. So on here, I can make water from there. I don't know if potable water is going to be important, but it doesn't look that important to me right now. We've also got some plant matter we can turn into food so that we can survive a little bit longer. And that looks good to me. We can also get a canister of oxygen. That's a really smart idea. Protected cables that will link up base modules. We've also got a jackhammer for breaking up large rocks. Okay. Uh, the sun is coming back up, which means our solar panels should kick back into action. Let's use what oxygen we have right now, because I'm going to disconnect this module so that we can smelt a little bit. Suit power is on its way back up. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. Well, we made it to day two, so that's a plus. But that means I can't kick out the oxygen scrubber just yet. I need to let that regenerate for a little while longer. That's okay, because we have a quest in front of us. we got to go get some metal so that we can smelt some stuff. And so there we go. If we can let the base get up to maximum oxygen, I don't think it'll generate anymore. Maybe we'll get the excess power before anything else goes wrong. I'm kind of new to this title, so we'll see what happens here. But I'm kind of playing things a bit tad loosey-goosey and theoretical at the moment because I don't know what's going to happen. Don't know what's going to happen. I just know that oxygen I'm always running out of. Oh, we got food. So let's eat that. I think if you have food, it makes your oxygen go down slower. So you just don't want to leave yourself hungry. Don't quote me on that one, though. I might be full of shit. It has been known to happen, especially when, you know, intellectually I'm constipated. Grab some rocks over here, and then we'll grab this metal, and we'll head back to base to refill that oxygen, which I think at this point should be fairly full. Let's go ahead and have a look, and we'll see if the smelter's working, or if we actually have to disable the oxygen supply in order for this to work. But until we get some metal plates, we aren't really going to be doing a whole lot. So there it is. Is the oxygen full inside of here? Hunger is normal. We'll go with full. Maybe that helps us out in some way. Oxygen's at 75, and it doesn't look like it turned back on the smelter. So let's refill that real fast. And now that we got that, we will take the scrubber over here and disconnect it. We will also disconnect you, apparently, and put you right there. There we go. And so that's now working. We'll get up in here and we will craft as many of these plates as we can before our oxygen gets too low to be salvaged. That will cost us a little bit of power from our base, but this is what we need right now. And if we don't have it, we're not going to be able to expand out and do anything interesting. So keep that in mind. I'm also going to put the scrubber back in because this will at least get us the two plates we need. All right, so we got our metal plates. With our metal plates now, we can make a gear... To make another one of these, I need two... Oh, shit, I need electronics. I don't have electronics. How do I make electronics? That's going to require wires and something else. How do I make wires? I can make those out of there. Okay, good. So let's do that then. Uh, this thing is scrubbing air right now, which is using up all of our oxygen, which is all kinds of a bummer. But we do have six wire right now, which is great. That should help out. 75 oxygen on store at the moment. If that takes us back up to a full tank... Almost up to a full tank, sure. I'll probably... I don't know if I can just disable this, but I keep picking it up in order to make it happen. So I'm just going to pick it up. There we go. And then in here, we will continue crafting as much of this stuff as we can because we need it. We need it so badly right now. We're full up. Our oxygen's holding out. I think we'll be good for the next couple minutes. Let me give, me... give me a couple seconds till these plates are done. Okay, so the metal plates are done. That gives us more options. So I've got enough for two of these circuit thingies. With the circuit thingies, I can make a new power grid, which will be enough to power both the smelter and the oxygen. So let's go ahead and slap this down. We'll give it a little slap-a-dab right there. And that should make it so that, yeah, we're solid. And then we'll get a battery so that we can make it through nighttime without any problems either. If I have extra oxygen here, I'm just going to drain it off into my tank right now before the sun goes down. And so there we go. Let me get out of here so I'm not wasting any more oxygen because nighttime is about to get here. We've only got like 
an hour before nighttime gets here, and we're not going to be able to do jack shit and nothing once that occurs. We are an ore-making machine right now, so I'll probably craft through the night so that we have the things we need in order to get into tomorrow. I'm really enjoying this game so far. I think that it's the aesthetic appeal of the game. The game looks really good, like it's an attractive little game. And so when you're playing a game that's both attractive and, like, fun to look at... So if we can make wiring from there, let's make some more wiring. From there, we'll make some more circuitry. Now that we have circuitry, we will make a battery so that that's all nice and placed for tomorrow, too. And so with the battery, I'm just going to put it... Oh, that's a huge-ass battery. Good lord. That thing is massive. Well, with the battery bank, hopefully that keeps us nice and taken care of. We only have 35 oxygen inside of here, but that should be enough to get us through the night. So let's wait this thing out. Okay, the sun is back up and our lights are coming back on. We got a little bit of oxygen left, so I think we've got time to scavenge a tiny bit while we're out and in here. Smelter's back online. It's making sheets. I'll leave that to do what it's going to do. Just sheeting all over the place. And our game is saved, so that's also good in case anything goes wrong and we, like, crash. It happens, man. It's a YouTuber's greatest fear is that shish it's just going to crash on you. And you're going to be like, what am I going to do? And there's not going to be any solution. You're just going to lose footage. It happened to me. It happened to me when I was playing birthdays, and so now I'm terrified of it. I'm also worried I'm not going to be able to find my way home here. Like, I've got, like, a rough barometer for where I'm at right now, but there's no radar or anything. There's my ship module, though, so we found that, so that's good. We're probably going to need more ore before this becomes any kind of... Can I eat water? Apparently, water gives me health. All right, that's cool. I'll take the water. Uh, oxygen's getting a little low, so the scrubber should be good to go right now. I'll reload the smelter up with a few more plates so that we can do some crafting today. And with the battery charged, oh, it's halfway full? Hell yeah. That'll get us through the night too, so we should no longer have like an oxygen problem after this. We should be nice and golden. So I'll put that in right there. We won't use more oxygen that we need for right now. We've got our metal plates. Let's keep that smelting and let's look and see what's capable of being crafted at the moment. Uh, we can make gears out of stuff. Probably a good idea. We can make wires out of things. So I'm going to make a big old spool of wire just to help out. And so there, what is that? A nav light? A small powered light for finding your way in the dark. A uh, base is losing oxygen. Oh, I have to fix that? Okay, that's pretty sweet. I didn't realize there was going to be base malfunctions. That's cool. The basest malfunctions you could ever contemplate all falling down upon our heads. Now that we have wires... We have an RTG, so we generate power through radioactive decay, but we need something special for that. I don't think... I mean, we could take batteries, and we could just battery up super hard, but we also got protected cables that will link up your base modules. How do I make a base module? Oh, I need rebar. Okay. So can I make rebar through here? That takes two ore to get done. Okay, then give me my... Actually, no. Craft the last ore into that, and we'll go find more. It's not that big of a deal. It's not something that I'm going to panic or freak out about. Let's get ourselves oxygenated. So there we go. We shouldn't have this problem overnight this time around because we've actually successfully managed to get ourselves a battery. I'm going to head northwards. I feel like north is an area that I haven't really tapped into yet. And actually, I'm 100% right about that. It feels so good to be right, doesn't it? Sometimes it just feels good to be right and know that you... Oh, we got a free circuit board. That's fun. Good, because we're going to need that smelter to be working all night and giving me lots and lots of rebars so that I can build some new base modules and then once we build that on out we'll see what we can put inside each of them cool looks like we've got ourselves a decent supply of metal that's going to be four rebar that gives us right there oh I'm hungry at the moment I will make myself full then uh, I need to get my shovel back so that I can use my tools to get through here but yeah we shouldn't have a problem tonight because the oxygen generator is going to be working all night which is great that's fantastic that's a step up from where we were by a long long margin Cool. We'll take this over here, get a little bit more food for ourselves, and I'll condense this all down into actual useful items in just a minute. Not going to worry too much about using excess oxygen because we've landed ourselves in a pretty good spot as far as that's concerned. I don't know if I can make a storage chest or maybe drop some of this stuff on the ground. We're carrying too many things right now. Way too many things. I'm going to get this started on the rebar. My inventory's full, so yeah, I need to craft some of this into... Something is a tad more useful. Let's get a big old stack of food right there. Looks good to me. I don't know if I can do anything with... We can make a cargo container for keeping our junk safely stored away. We can also make another air cleaner. We can make an engine with an electrical motor. Oh, we got all kinds of good stuff. We can build vehicles? Dude, we can get a kitty mobile. This is going to be awesome. I'm pretty stoked about the kitty mobile. 
I'm gonna get rid of this water first, but let me get my oxygen back here. I wonder if I can add oxygen tanks to this place to make it hold more oxygen. That would be pretty stellar. Oh look, we're regenerating oxygen off of our battery. Great, that means I can work through the night. Can I drop any of this stuff? I can't get this out of my inventory right now. So until I figure out a way to like migrate some of this stuff away from my inventory, it's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and drink the water because that's the easiest inventory slot I can get to actively get myself towards the storage crate down here. So there's a cargo container. That looks like it's a hab module, but it used up a big chunk of all of our gears and all of our parts and all of our plates, but I can live with that. So there's our cargo container right there. I am going to slap a cargo container down right here. So there we go, we now have a cargo container for our base. We went through that battery pretty quickly. I wasn't expecting to go through that that rapidly. Still generating oxygen through the night though, so nothing to freak out about there. I will put the catnip, the scrap metal, basically everything that's not immediately useful to me inside of here so that I can get my inventory all nice and cleared out. Then the lights go out because apparently our battery storage is not good enough. We are using up our oxygen, but let's get out here and wait for morning. The sun will come up on Moon Base. Bet your bottom dollar that on Moon Base there'll be sun. All right, so we've got sun now. I'm thinking we should build another battery. I could be wrong about this, but a secondary battery to really kind of make us more useful is something that I'm actively leaning towards right now. Our battery bank will just chill over here, and that should be connected. And I don't know if they act iteratively, so it ticks through them before anything else happens. But it's going to have to work for right now. We don't have a choice. Uh, aside from that, we've got a whole bunch of smeltable objects right now. So let's make some rebar. That actually happened way quicker than expected. So there it is. Working at optimum efficiency, we create for ourselves some rebar to make some new hab modules. And then we'll have it make some sheets and giggles. Alongside that, let's head up to the north and see what little things we haven't picked up yet. I know what I want to build next. I want to get the jackhammer. So that once I have the jackhammer, I can start breaking some of these stones around my base and making equitable space. We're also probably going to want to make those little lights so that we can make trails throughout the land. So that we can follow them on back to base just in case something goes wrong and we end up getting disoriented. Disorientation is a real concern in a survival situation. And people tend to panic when they're disoriented. And then once you panic, it's like GG game over. I mean, once somebody panics, they're... Intellectual acuity drops pretty considerably to the point where they're not really useful to the group anymore No boulders from right there. I would also keep it to cardinal directions Let's head straight north straight south straight east straight west with like very little variation and where we decide to elect or to adventure to Because that'll keep us on track as well as it stands right now though I think we've got a pretty solid supply. I don't know if this scrap metal is ever gonna be useful for anything else But I have a pretty good supply of it right now and I kind of wish that I had something I could apply it to. I don't know, maybe we'll get a vehicle and we'll be able to go like Astroneer mode and just like fly around in our vehicle doing our thing. But for right now, that's going to be something that we've got to leave in the realm of speculation because I don't know if it's something we have the capability of doing. I don't know if we'll be able to charge both batteries in one day either. Uh, we've got some plates right here. Let me go use the excess oxygen for a minute before I get myself totally depleted here. We get ourselves into like a death spiral. Oh, we've got 100 oxygen we can store now. Is that because we've got extra base area? That's probably a really good thing. We're leaking oxygen from the thing that generates oxygen. Not good. Of all the places that could leak oxygen, probably don't, although that entire space is going to be pressurized. So in all fairness, we'll go eight more of these. That should bang out really quickly. And we should be able to make a new hab module over here. Yes, we can. And then once those are done, we'll turn the rest of it into plates. So we've got a hab module right here. We've also got an oxygen canister. That requires water. Might be a useful thing to have around. Might be a useful thing to have around. In order to make the jackhammer, we need scrap metal, we need plates, and we need... That's going to take four plates right there. Well, we're crafting more on this side, so we've got a few more metal plates that are good to go. I'm going to make the jackhammer as well so that we've got that available. Our hab module has just spit into our greasy little cat hands. That's not where I wanted that hab module to go. That was an accident, and I definitely don't want to be trapped inside of it. Let's get our jackhammer. Yeah, there it is, doing some heavy labor right here. Bang that thing out because, oh, we got something new on this side. I like new things. New things are good things. That should give us a bit more space to play around with. I want to expand the base so that we can be 
a little bit more mobile while we're moving around. With a couple more hab modules, I feel like I'd be happier than I am right now. We also picked up something that looks like uranium or some kind of irradiated thing from that rock. So let's get in here. We're hungry again. 125, so yeah, it looks like the amount of oxygen you have expands with the size of the base. I'm going to throw seeds in here. Radioactive material in there for sure. Probably not something we want to carry around with us. We've got extra foodstuffs. We've got extra scrap. We've got extra rock. That'll allow us to pick up everything else that's laying around. And let's do a little bit of hardcore construction here. I'm going to break down these rocks all around my base. While we talk about what's coming in this series, it sounds like we've got vehicles on the way. Uh, you can play this game for absolutely... Well, I'm actually... I'm not sure if it's free or not. It was free when I got it, I think. But maybe they've put a price on it right now. I'll check on it. And I'll let you know. I can't put up annotations anymore because YouTube did away with those. But what I can tell you is that this should be reasonably cheap. Base is losing oxygen. That sucks. Let's go ahead and fix it with our drill here. Just smack it with a drill until it works. I'm sure it'll be okay. Now, with the time we have remaining... Now, we have some things that are available inside of here. So let me hit on my little headlight. And then we've got a metal plate. With the metal plates we currently have, we aren't generating enough power to really fill out our batteries every single day. So I'm going to focus on that first. So there's our next little power coupling. I'm going to move, while we're not generating power anyways, I'm going to move all these around so that all of my banks are on one side of the base. So we'll get rid of you, we'll get rid of you, and we'll get rid of you. Okay, so smelter from now on is going to go right here. And then we're going to have power, power, and power on that side. And that should give us a nice little daisy chain. With everything else I have going on, I should be able to make some cabling and some wires to attach things. I think those will probably just lay on the ground like so. Yeah, that looks about right. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with it, but I think we did the right thing right there. I'm hungry again, so we'll eat some food to keep ourselves rocking. Suit power is about to go offline, so we should probably resolve that and get our HUD back. Suit power is offline. I don't know if we're breathing right now. I don't have my HUD. That is a nice... I like that. that that's a unique effect where when your base... Or when you lose your suit, you lose track of like what you have going on. As these lights come back on, we're going to step into this area. We'll get some of our power back. Oxygen's looking good. And so life is solid at the moment. Life is looking pretty, pretty fabtabulous. We've connected that to power, so it's good to go. Let's go find ourselves. I'm going to go straight east this time around and see what we can find off in this direction because I think adventure is out here. Can I get ore from these rocks or can I only get radioactive material and stones? I mean, the fissible, fissionable material or whatever is fine by me because we're going to need that to generate power in the future because I did see a nuclear reactor or something like that that we can build because apparently cats are really good at stuff like that. But for right now, I need ore. Stone, not so much. Water would be good because I can make oxygen tanks out of water for backup if we go a long ways away. And so as soon as we got that stuff all picked at, we'll grab that. We'll go back up to the path that we were trying to trod over here. And it looks like this is about the extent of how far away we've been with what we've got going on. Maybe we can grow our own plants inside of the base. It looks like with the seeds, that's definitely going to be possibly a po I'm going to say definitely possibly going to be a thing that we can accomplish. This game's rough in the beginning. If you don't hustle, you're going to die. But after that, it's like everything just kind of falls into place, you know? Uh, I don't have room for extra metal, unfortunately. We won't have any chugga chugga squee! Oh, yeah! Type action in here. But... We don't need that right now. We need to keep ourselves focused. We start moshing too hard. We're going to knock a hole in the hab, and then I'm going to feel really dumb. So, Ooh, a field of metal. Yeah, I won't turn that down at all. Let's grab this metal. Yup, good stuff. Picking at it. I like games like this. I don't know. Little simple crafting games make me happy for whatever reason. They make me feel, like, stoked about going to work every day. Because if you think about it, this is my job. This is what I do on the internet. And some games are just like, uh, I'm not super into this, but it is a quality game, but I don't really like it that much. It's just a preferential thing. Other games you find yourself sliding into super easily. And this is one of those games where it's easy to get into and it's fun to play. I will get that done right there just so we don't have to worry about it later. I'm trying to get all this area cleared out before we do anything else. We will get our food taken care of, and we're probably going to want to go ahead and craft some new food before we go any further with all this, too. I wonder if I can make, like, a nice little cobblestone hab area around my base. That'd be pretty sweet. I'd be down with it. Oh, we've got enough of those, so just make me plates for right now. They take longer. They're more of a pain to get. Batteries are not filling up at the rate that I would like. 
That's probably due to the smelter doing its thing. That one might also not be connected. That would be the other concern that I have. Is that maybe... I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens with it. Once that one fills up, maybe we'll see this one get hit. Oh, it is. Okay, so it counts as connected. That's fine. we got some more metal plates down here. We'll make that into that. We've got nuclear fuel that we can craft out of both of those. We've also got pavement that we can create to walk and drive on. That might be a decent use for our stone. Is there anything else cool that we can do around here? We can make another hab module. I am okay with that as a possibility. With the metal plates we have, if I just keep these things going... Well, I know my inventory is full, but keep crafting plates. Power is going to go out soon, and I need plates more than anything else. Bunch more oxygen to be had. We'll store some things up, so I will put the ice inside of here. I will put that, that, that. We don't need a power conduit right now either, so we'll keep it nice and streamlined at the moment with regards to the things that we're actively using. Yeah, it looks like we got two battery banks that are going to be filled up by the end of the day, so that's even better. No complaints from me on that front. If I want that to work, I need wire. I have access to more wire, so that's no biggie. I will make two of those just to fill out our wire, our wire supply. And then we'll make two more habitat modules so that the amount of oxygen we can store is crazy huge. I just like building things. I'll be square with you. I really like building things. Uh, I'm going to cancel that, actually. It looks like if I have a conduit and some stone, I can make myself what looks like a hydroponic greenhouse. Not a bad plan, because I'd be willing to bet that might also generate more oxygen for us. And I like oxygen, and I not I like not being dead. We'll drop you right there. And we will continue to generate more power as our base gets a little bit bigger. If I grab that power conduit out of here, and I grab that stone, I'm going to make the greenhouse right now, too. Uh, battery bank is draining off pretty quickly at the moment. Pretty quickly, but we should get through the night with two batteries. It's just that we have a lot of stuff that's sitting around. Yeah, I should. if it's going to be using power, I should have it craft. I think that's an excellent point, Noble Viewer. That's probably what you're saying to me right now, right? So that's what we're going to do. All right, so with Moon Base. Our Moon Base is growing. We've got our hydroponic farm right here. I'm wondering what that's going to cost me in terms of power. Probably something. I doubt that we're going to get away with this for free. Let's go check our power supply and see how that's going. Uh, we, our battery's at 1,500. We're using 22.1, and I assume we're generating around 21. So I think something's going to go offline unless we build ourselves another... Unless we build ourselves another solar panel. But we've got a nice little solar field going for right now. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Mune Base. You can get it at the link down below. If you like what I do here on the channel, check out the Patreon. It's a great way to support me and make sure that I continue being able to make videos. Uh, the generosity of my audience has always been tremendous, and I very much appreciate it. I'll see you all next time. I hope you like Mune Base. Bye, everybody.